This is Greg Chumley, Workflow Analyst at Caslon, a company that provides accessible education, insights, and tools designed to help PODI members achieve better business results. In this video, we'll take a quick look at the Workflow Builder module of Rico's Process Director Express. Process Director Express workflows are defined by administrators and supervisors. Notice that I did not say programmers. Workflow definition needs to be done by the people who best understand how to move work through the shop. To define a workflow, you can start with a clean sheet design and even use a workflow builder tutorial, but people typically just open and edit an existing one. Adding workflow steps and decision points is performed by dragging and dropping elements onto the screen. One of the first things you'll notice is that there are color banded areas on the screen. These represent the six high level workflow phases, receive, repair, assemble, print, insert, and complete. Dropping a workflow step onto one of these color bands automatically maps it into that phase. Let's walk through a simple workflow and then we'll make some minor edits. This workflow starts by bringing a job in and setting some properties, which are gleaned from the JDF file, like the job name. Next, it determines the number of pages in the job. Next, there's a decision point to determine how to process the file. Workflow elements can be named with nice readable phrases so that we can quickly see here that we're trying to filter out quick print jobs. We can open this step to see what exactly this means. In this case, we're checking the number of pages and heading straight to print if the job is less than 100 pages. Notice that now we're moving this job from the orange receive phase all the way over to the purple print phase. Going back to the workflow branch, we see that larger jobs have a more complex workflow. In this case, they go to the prepare phase and check to see if they're print ready. If they are, we'll set some more properties, then send them to print. We're going to require a few more steps for jobs that are not print ready. We'll transform them, perhaps from Word to PDF, run them through pit stop and through ultimate impo strip, and then have their JDF files optimized before sending them to print. We're not doing post-processing in this workflow, so after printing, jobs are retained for a predefined amount of time in case there's a problem and a reprint is required. After that time, jobs that need to be saved are archived and the others are discarded. Now, I realize that this is a pretty simplistic example, but the intent is to demonstrate how the workflow builder works. Throughout this walkthrough, I mentioned checking job information. Process Director Express is getting this job information from the JDF file associated with the job or from looking at the PDF file itself. So now that we've walked through a workflow, let's tweak it. We'll determine if a job is from a specific customer and if it is, we'll pre-flight it with pit stop, then send an email and wait for approval. The top left window has a list of steps that can be added. We select the one that connects to pit stop and drag it to where we want it to occur. Notice that the rest of the workflow actions and connections politely move out of the way for this new step. Next, we give it a nice descriptive name, then we connect it to the prior step, and in this case, add in a test to check if the customer name is PODI. We'll drag and drop an email action to automatically send an email for PODI jobs, we can specify the email address, add a note, and can even include variable data fields. And if we desire, attach the entire job or a page range of the job. Next, we'll add a manual step to wait for approval. Manual steps hold the job until someone in the shop releases it from that step. Note that the system will capture who released it and when, so we can follow up if there's a problem. Let me show you how this is done back on the dashboard. To release a job from a manual step, simply right click on the job and select manual and then complete. The flexibility of having manual and automated steps is important because automated workflows is an ongoing process. Rarely will everything be automated all at once. Let's go back to the workflow builder. As we look at our workflow, we see that in this case, there are three decision branches. Decision tests are always evaluated from top to bottom, so you can easily define the logic flow by simply moving the diagram. Let me show you. By dragging the PODI branch down, I can change the order to test for quick print jobs first. Notice that there was effectively no programming to do this. I talked about how manual steps require an operator to release a job before it moves on. Other steps are automated. Ultimate, Impo Strip, and Pit Stop are two that have built-in interfaces that process the job information for automated processing. In addition, steps can be linked to hot folders or to command line interfaces. These could drive jobs to external programs or to batch files, or they could drive them to inboxes for teams doing design, pre-flighting, shipping, or other activities. Upon completion, the teams could then drop them into outbox folders to be brought back into the workflow. So, while workflows can certainly become quite complex, 
Creating them doesn't require a computer science degree. Furthermore, Process Director Express is designed to be able to integrate with sophisticated automated packages as well as with manual or outside processes. This allows companies to manage any sort of workflows and to add more and more automation over time. So to summarize, Rico Total Flow Process Director Express has a workflow builder tool designed to be used by administrators, supervisors, and pre-press managers. It does not require programming expertise. It is highly graphical and intuitive to use. It allows you to link workflow steps and decision trees together by dragging and dropping icons. Where you horizontally drop workflow steps defines their workflow phase and order. Where you vertically drop workflow steps determines the order decisions are made. You can include manual and automated steps with programming interfaces, command line interfaces, or hot folders. And the result is a simple to use system with incredible flexibility.